Hi, my name's Simon Hater, and I'm going to show you how you can install uh, my studio pack for Cinema 4D. I'm going to show you how to install it and uh, what's in it and show you how to use it. So let's jump straight in and let's load up Cinema 4D. Okay, normally uh, as this loads, normally what will happen is uh, when you download video uh, templates off YouTube or or any other social media or any other website for that matter um, you'll get it in the Cinema 4D uh, file which is a C4D uh, this file which I've actually extracted and put it on my desktop purposely for this video is actually a lib4D so what that is it's a library so we need to uh, install it to the content browser really straightforward simply load up your Cinema 4D, uh, go to Window, click Content Browser. Uh, as you can see, here's all my other presets. Now, the reason I've loaded this up is uh, a lot. Of, you can do it manually, but I find this is the easiest way to actually find out uh, install into the right folder. Just click any ones, uh, any of the presets which comes with Cinema 4D. Uh, show in Explorer. And as you can see, we've got the file there, which is program files, um, program files, max on Cinema 4D R13 library browser. Uh, this will work on other versions. So let's go back to our desktop. Let's copy the file, paste it in. Uh, yes, we do want to ins uh, copy that. So close that window. Let's exit uh, Cinema 4D. Let's load it back up. Now hopefully when we go to Content Browser we'll have Simon Studio Pack. So yep, there we go. So just to give you a quick rundown uh, of what it comes with. If I click lights we've got uh, a dim white light panel. We've got lights in a disc which uses a cloner. We've got normal white, light panel, uh, super white and we've got very dim white. They're, they're basically just uh, panels you can add to existing projects. Uh, make sure you've got global illumination uh, enabled otherwise they won't work with full effect. I've actually uh, given you some of my favorite materials which I've made up. So we've got colorful lines which glow in the dark. Um, we've got some glass with cloud effects. Uh, I've actually copied all the light colors within my studios uh, to this folder here called lights. We've got some shiny balls and we've got some simple colors. There, just chuck those in um, just in case you wanted a few more materials to test the studio with. Um, objects, I've put in some balls and square, uh, square and balls. Um, they're again just purely for testing uh, rigs out. Um, now before we head, here's the studios, but before we head into those, I'm just going to explain the lights, materials and objects will basically load into your existing project. What that means, so if you're, if you're working in a project and you go to Content Browser and you click one of my materials, uh, it will load up in whatever project you've got active. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because the studios will actually load up in additional tab they they will not import to your um, existing project the reason being is I've done that on purpose because there are settings like the global illumination and um, whatnot which uh, do not import when you try to um, make it import to existing projects you can uh, use the studios with your existing projects if you've got one loaded just copy the contents and then um, uh, paste it into your uh, into your project. But there, anyway. So uh, let's start with my favourite, which is uh, Room with Window. So all we do is double click that. That's loaded up. I'll just give you a quick preview of what that looks like. So as you can see, it's a simple room uh, with a window effect, like some sunlight coming in in the window, gives it and uh, gives it some nice uh, shadows on the on the on the screen. I'm just going to show you how that 
um, basically works. In this project I've just used a standard light and all it is is a box with a light shining through uh, some cracks so it gives it like a room of windows effect. Let's close that and show you how the other projects work, uh, other studio sorry. So content browser again, let's um, go for room dark grey with noise. So the, as you can see the room is actually textured with a noise. Uh, the light source uses panels which we've got our panels up there which I'll show you how to use uh, on your existing projects without using the studio. So if we just render that to show you what that looks like. Sorry about the slow render speeds, it's due to the fact that I'm actually recording at a high resolution so it, it is actually impacting on the render times. But as you can see we've got a nice little room there, we've got the, um, the lights reflecting off the balls um, and whatnot. You can actually turn down the, the finesse and the, the reflection on the balls um, which will show less of the, of the lights from above. Um, if you don't like the seam across the room, then just make the project, uh, your model smaller and zoom in um, so you don't actually see it. Something like, um, something like that, for example, you wouldn't see the seam. Um, but anyway, let's close that project down. Let's load up one more. There are, there's actually six um, uh, studios I've included, um, but let's not load them all. Let's load up uh, low shadow floor. So all this is is we've got a disc going on. We've got uh, low lights going on the torus, uh, which is a low dim, and then we've got a panel above um, just to give it a little bit more light. So if we actually render that and see what it looks like. So as you see, it still gives a nice uh, shadow effect on the floor, uh, not too large. It's easy to uh, read and see the colour, what's going on. And as you can see, we've got the reflection in on the ball. We've got a uh, light from above and we've got a circle. Now, what we can do is introduce more light. So we go to the content uh, browser. Uh, let's go to lights. I've actually imported one in. Oh, at least I thought I had. So, yep, there we go. So it's imported it in. So I can actually add more lights. We can rotate that. So we can give it uh, less shadow. So if I go down, and then if I zoom in, like I did before, we'll notice. that there's less shadow, or at least there should be. So as you can see, the shadow is actually a lighter shadow now. Um, we can actually increase the contrast or use a different panel um, down here, um, or even move it closer to give it even less shadow. Um, another cool thing you can do with the panels uh, is use a cloner so let's delete that panel uh, let's delete that one there uh, let's introduce a, a cloner so let's put that in the cloner let's uh, put it into grid array let's put it um, count one and count three so Let's do let's do ten. So as you can see, what we can do is easily multiply the uh, multiply those panels. Let's bring them up now, and as you can see, that will give uh, the scene a lot of light. Um, and we can even go one step further by introducing um, oh, not that one. 
by introducing it in a even more so that would give this uh, the scene an insane amount of light so let's have a look what that looks like I think we won't get hardly any shadow now but you can see before it's even rendered there's an uh, insane amount of light so basically if you've got um, more lights going on you can actually uh, change the uh, chain the luminance on the bulbs so if we change that um, so it's that one I'm using so let's change that down to a um, let's put it down to a, a 71 and then as you can see that changes the whole scene um, there is a, a lot of other studios as I said there are six in total um, the good thing about the studio is you can use it as a base to basically make your own or get an idea how uh, how it works um, I hope it, it's helpful um, it certainly does save me some time when I uh, do some projects um, there's a another one I thought I'd show you which is basically um, lots of discs uh, let's delete the torus let's zoom in and see what kind of a, see you, by messing around with the light you can really adapt your scenes um, to give it that extra pop so let's see what this looks like and as you can see we've got a lot of light going on there we can even see the reflection you can actually turn the reflections off um, and I'll include that in another video at a later time anyway I hope it helps I'll see you soon bye bye